Our brand new cycle of basic space lands is now available for purchase at www.itresolvesmtg.com. What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video and today we are playing with uh, probably one of my favorite cards. Uh, one that kind of started off for me in terms of gameplay and that is Mirror March. So this is an Elementals uh, Teamer March deck. Uh, so the whole idea is to get a lot of value off of copying creatures with Mirror March. Uh, so Mirror March, if you don't know what it does, whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, you flip a coin uh, until you lose the flip. And then for every flip that you won, you get a copy of the creature. Uh, so the idea here is the entire deck, uh, apart from just a few random things, uh, is essentially an elemental, which all work together with things like Risen Reef, uh, work well with things like Omnath, uh, and then ideally win you the game with just either a lot of damage or by milling yourself. And then we've got Jace, Wielder of Mysteries here. Uh, some added tech that we got from Akoria. Uh, Yorian is our companion for this one. So this is an 80 card deck, which is a lot. But uh, Yorian means we get to bounce all of our creatures. Uh, and then assuming we have a Mirror March out, they all get to trigger once they come in on the Mirror March. Uh, we also have Genesis Ultimatum as a new card from Akoria here. Look at the top five cards of your deck. Put any number of permanent cards from among them onto the battlefield and the rest into your hand. And then you exile the Genesis Ultimatum. This is really going to help us not only just hit a lot of creatures, but hopefully get to our Mirror March as well. So uh, to look at the deck, we've got Arboreal Grazer, Healer of the Glade, and uh, Leafkin Druid is kind of the early game stuff. A lot of green in the early game. Arboreal Grazer, as well as the Leafkin Druid, really going to help ramp us into either Genesis Ultimatum or Mirror March or just some big creatures. Uh, Healer of the Glade, kind of a blocker for things like Fervent Champion. It just makes it a little bit difficult. They do have to shock it to kind of get through that damage or just have another Fervent Champion. But the idea is this is going to heal us in the early game. It's also going to block for us just a little bit. Chump block if need be. Uh, same with the Grazer here. Um, but later on in the game, uh, if we copy it a number of times, and these do stack, by the way, uh, so if we do copy it any number of times, we just start to heal up for a lot of life. So very, very good. Risen Reef, a really good engine card for the deck. Uh, anytime you play an elemental, uh, you look at the top card of your deck. If it's a land, you get to put it onto the battlefield tapped. If it's anything other than a land, you put it into your hand. So tons of value off of this. It is absolutely crazy good. Uh, so very, very excited to play that. Uh, Uro, uh, it's it's just a really powerful card. It's really difficult not to play this, uh, especially if you get copies of it, you gain a lot of life and you just get to draw a bunch of cards. Because of this, part of that is where we get like Jace though, uh, because it's nice to have this out just in case if you copy this enough times, you can lose the game if you don't have something like a Jace out. Uh, looking in the four drop slot here, aside from Jace, we do have Spark Double as a way to copy essentially anything that we want. Um, really really powerful card uh so if we copy the right thing we essentially just get extra value especially again with mirror marsh out uh omnath gonna be dealing damage a lot of damage and whenever a land enters the battlefield we get a 1-1 counter on target elemental we control and then if we control eight or more lands which ideally we will we get to draw a card so another kind of reason to have the jace here uh, especially if we're going to be copying this uh, for some damage dealing, we've got Cavalier of Flame. It gives everything haste, gives it plus one, plus zero as well. Uh, so just a really, really strong card. Uh, and then whenever it leaves uh, or dies, excuse me, it deals X damage to each opponent and each Planeswalker they control where X is the number of lands in your graveyard. So that's also just quite good for us. Cavalier of Thorns here. Uh, a good way to also get some lands onto the battlefield, but uh, get some, some graveyard uh, recursion if we need it. Uh, and then we've kind of already talked about Mirror March and Genesis Ultimatum here. Uh, as far as lands, we are running 36 because it is an 80 card deck. Uh, 2, 2, and 2 on the basics. 4 Steam Vents, 4 Stomping Ground, and 4 Breeding Pool. We've got the full 4 on each of the temples. Uh, 4 Ketria Triumphs, and then 2 Fabled Passage since we are kind of running light on the basic lands. I will go ahead and mention I pulled this list, but it is very vastly similar to one of the first uh, decks that I played um, pre Akoria, uh, but on this channel. Uh, it was a Team Rare Elementals Mirror March deck, very similar to this, but uh, I'm excited because this is kind of a callback to that, but it also gets to go over the top a little bit better. So we are going to see how it does. Uh, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. 
Uh, I love this kind of deck. Uh, it's just absolutely silly. It's a jank deck. We are no, we know going into it, we're just here to have fun. So let's just go ahead and get that out of the way now. Um, just want to mention as well, ooh, this is a pretty strong keep. Uh, we get this, uh, probably going to be getting this down very soon. Uh, so yeah, we'll try and keep that. Uh, just want to mention very quickly, if you are not already, uh, well, first things, if you're not already entered, we are doing another giveaway for an Ikoria bundle. Yes, we just did one. We're going to do another one. We had a lot of fun the first time, so we figured why not do it again? Um, so if you're interested in picking up uh, an Ikoria bundle, you can do that. Uh, the winner will be chosen uh, at the beginning of June uh, if you're interested. Let's do this. Let's just go ahead and play this out here. Um... Might run into a quench or something. This might be a Simic deck, uh, Simic flash deck, which could be a problem. Oh, that's fine. Um, second thing, uh, you probably saw the ad at the beginning of our video. If you want to pick up those space lands, they're available right now. We've already had like three or four orders for them, so we do appreciate those who have gone out and purchased some of those. We not only just appreciate the support, it means a lot to us, but we're really excited because we feel like those are really, really cool looking. Um, and ideally, if you do too, they're there for you. So that was kind of the idea. They're just really, really fun to make, honestly. It's it's fun to be able to do stuff like that. Um, uh, that's not very good here. Let's just go ahead and do the Leaf Kin Druid. It's going to help ramp us. Uh, we can drop the Omnath next turn. Um, and potentially, uh, we'll see. We'll see what we want to do. We might just um, play out the Mirror March here. <laughs> Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, and what's cool is we do have the Yorian available to us after the fact, so once we've gotten all of these things down, we can kind of bounce everything, uh, which is going to be good. We are going to take this hit here. Um, sucks a little bit because that's a good bit of damage, but it'll be all right. We'll be fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> um, yeah, let's play out Mirror March. If they have a quench here, that's going to suck. I kind of doubt it because it looks like just a mutate deck, but you never know. <laughs> um, all right, cool. That's fine. That is fine. Uh, but yeah, we're very proud of those space lands. Um, really, really proud of those space lands. They were fun to make, uh, and a lot of you guys really, really liked them. They're available now. You can purchase them. Uh, also, if you're not following us, or, or excuse me, if you're not joined on our server, our, our Discord server, please go ahead and join. Um, we did kind of bring that back to life a little bit. Uh, I know we were kind of uh, sparse on it for a while, but we do have it available now if you're interested. Um, all right. Um, yep, let's just do this. Uh, ugh. We're going to do the damage here. Chances are we're not going to get very many flips here, so that's why. Um, don't know how this is going to go, to be honest. Okay. Yeah. Um, and we're just going to end up chump blocking here. Next turn, we may just Genesis Ultimatum. We'll see. Um... This does, it does have tramples, so we're probably going to have to double block this, potentially. We'll see. We will see. Got to be very, very careful of our life total here. Hmm, <laughs> hmm. That's pretty good. We're going to get to fight off this. Okay. So now we literally have to block here. All right. Let's see if we can do it. Probably not, but we're going to try. Um, yeah, we can't even do that. We get to play Yorian. Um, we're not going to bounce Mirror March. We get one Yorian. And we have to keep only one of them. Um... How does this work? Um, submit zero. Okay. All right. Well, 
unfortunately, we just did not get there. Um, and that is okay. We are here to have fun. So that is fine. I still love this kind of deck. I love Mirror March decks. They are kind of my favorite decks right now in Standard because they are absolutely silly. So let's jump into game two. Let's see if we can get at least one win with this would be nice. Um, it's a it's a silly deck, but that's okay. Oh, also, along the lines of giveaways, um, oh, our frame rates are dropping a little bit here. Um, let's... So I'm noticing that this is paired very specifically with who we're against. So if we find that we're dropping frames, I tend to just go ahead and concede the game just so we can ideally make more enjoyable content for you guys. I care less about my um, my rank and more about uh, making sure the, the game looks okay or, or is at least watchable. Uh, but we did have a comment on our giveaways uh, and we have this occasionally where people are asking, you know, well, we didn't see who was announced, you know, when did you announce it, that kind of thing. First of all, um, if you don't read the giveaway post, uh, I can see how you would be confused, but on the giveaway post, we say the day that we are going to announce the winner. Um, last time it was, I believe, the 6th or the 16th or something like that. Uh, it's all there. So, like, you can just look there and we'll tell you when we will announce it. The way that we normally announce giveaways, though, we're going to try this. This is a bit of a risky keep, but we're going to try it. Um, the way that we normally announce our giveaway winners uh, is in, like, three different ways. So, first thing... On our Instagram story, we just have a lot of Instagram followers. Uh, that tends to be where we get a lot of our stuff. So, like, we figured that's a good place to announce it. So, we, we usually post it on our Instagram story. Uh, that way, you guys can see it there. Um, also, in the videos that are released that day, we do not necessarily release a dedicated video for announcing the winner. We certainly can if there's enough requests for that kind of thing. We just generally don't. Um, and it's not for any particular reason. We just decided, like, eh, it doesn't, you know, we, we announce it in the videos. If you guys really wanted to know, you would watch our videos, is the idea. Kind of putting it on you guys a little bit. Um, but anyway, so the idea is that, like, it's all there for you. Um, also, though, we put it on our community tab on our... Um, do we keep this? Yeah, I think we keep this. Uh, we also put it on our community tab on our YouTube uh, so if you're interested, it's all there. Um, you just kind of have to, it's not really even that you have to search. You just have to follow the channel really. Um, so if you, if you missed it, I'm very, very sorry. The post on our community tab is still there. The videos are still there for you to watch from that Saturday. It's all there. Uh, Thomas Lennon was our winner for this last Decoria giveaway. Uh, and we certainly appreciate him, um, supporting what we do. All of you guys supporting what we do is means a lot. Um, but yeah, that was, I think just kind of a, an oversight. Um, and so, I mean, if you guys feel like we need a dedicated video, leave me a comment down below and we can certainly do that. But like, it just seems kind of innocuous at that point. Cause it's, it's pretty much announced everywhere. <laughs> um, so it is what it is. Um, let's do this. Let's do this taking a lot of damage here so we do have to be kind of careful uh that's nice though i will say and next turn we can either drop uro or maybe a spark double we'll see what we want to do honestly maybe just yorian that doesn't sound all that great but like depending on what we draw we may play like the cavalier of thorns though too we'd like to get like a powerful thing out so that way we can block all these little incoming stupid one ones yep okay uh did not quite get there on that um let's play you out Let's just play a row here. We'll gain some life back, draw a card, hopefully hit a land. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and that's exactly what we would like. Um, do we want the land? Honestly, yeah, I think we kind of do. It's a little unexciting, I know, but um, I do think it's kind of the right call. Uh, do we trade off this Risen Reef here at some point? Probably, right? 
like with the Rimrock Knight, just to save ourselves some damage. And they could very easily have like an Ember Cleave here, in which case we're just going to lose. Um, we just have to be really careful against an opponent like this. You never know what they're going to have. Um, but I do think maybe trading off with the, or attempting to trade off with the Rimrock Knight is good. Oh, well they're just going to kill it then. I assume. Interesting that they didn't act. Why did you play this uh, if you weren't going to do that? So, yeah, I'm definitely just going to trade off. That seemed like not really the best play, but that's okay. I mean, they get to do two damage to us, but like, don't necessarily think that's amazing. Um, let's drop this. We'll keep it just because we know we've got Cavalier coming. Um, do that. Uh, let's get Temple of Epiphany. This way we get a scry after all of this, uh, and we'll put that on the bottom. There we go. All right. Um, now we just kind of have to hope we live. <laughs> uh, thankfully, we have another Cavalier of Thorn we're about to play, which feels pretty good. Sure. So they can just start dealing two damage to it. They can deal four damage to us right off of these. Up in oh, excuse me. It does more than that. I have a reputation to uphold. It's pretty good. Go get him, buddy. And we just lose, right? Yeah. All right. Not another win, unfortunately. Interesting deck. Uh, I have not seen a, like... Uh, such a mono red planeswalker focused list, but that was pretty cool. I like that. Um, we didn't really get to do our thing that turn or that game, and that's okay. What I'm realizing, I think, is that um, the Yorian build in particular is gonna be. I mean, inherently, uh, this just makes sense. It's gonna be a little bit less consistent because we have 80 cards in our deck. Kind of makes sense. So, and that's okay. We'll uh, we will see if we can get a win out of this. Uh, I still love the deck. I, I love the idea of what it does, at least. I think it's very, very silly. And that's the goal. That's the goal. We're just here to have fun. Um, <laughs> I love just playing jank decks like this because it's it kind of takes the pressure off. Um, I, I'll To, to kind of peek behind the curtain, when we record these videos, excuse me, when I record these videos, um, I always feel a little bit of pressure. It's like, well, I have to be, you know, really on top of things, play as best as I can. I'm going to make misplays, like I know that, so it's fine if I, you know, whatever. But, um, you know, you want to do a good job, and that way you guys get to see a good game and, like, all that stuff. <clears throat> but honestly, <laughs> when it comes to a deck like this, it's like, yeah, we're going to misplay, but who cares? It's just about having fun. Um, this will keep. Um, and actually, depending on what they do, we'll see what we... If we turn one healer or not <sighs> red 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 yeah I'm gonna turn one healer um, that way we can turn two leafkin druid uh, and just make sure that we've got blockers up this might also just eat like a shock very regular that that could happen oh this is a cycler stack never mind probably not gonna eat a shock then um Ooh, opponent didn't do anything. Um in that case, let's do this. Okay, weirdly I'm going to keep that. Um we kind of want ramp, like a lot of ramp. Uh we'll drop this. We'll let it enter tapped. That's fine. Uh and sure, we'll attack for one. Woo! Getting there. <laughs> I really want to pull the Mirror March and then Yorian uh, and just see what happens because <laughs> it's going to be hopefully a lot of triggers like that's the idea at least but uh, good the opponent found a land there. In the Cyclers deck I have to imagine it's really not that difficult to find a land. <laughs> um, we can double Leaf Druid here. Just have a bunch of mana and not much to do with it, according to the opponent. 
Gotcha. Um, so here, next turn, we just get to drop Mirror March. Fine by me. Fine by me. Um, they're missing lands, though. I would not be surprised if they concede at some point, just based on the fact that they're missing lands. We're not doing a lot of damage. Like, there's no way, but... Um, let's just do this, and we'll drop this. Woo! Attacking for one. <laughs> uh, next turn, we can't actually play Yorian. We don't have two blue sources. Worth noting. Man, they are really short on mana. How many lands are they running? Are they just, like, not getting there? Like, what is this? Um, yes, I would love you. Um, I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to spark double a healer. <laughs> It just seems kind of silly. This is the most exciting game. They're being pinged for one without any lance. <laughs> yeah. This is really silly. Um, but hey, we have a mirror march down. Oh, good. They got their white. Okay. Well, now we have a game, right? Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. Uh, so we can't do both here, um, but we can drop. We're going to try and maximize on our Yorian uh, as best we can. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> yes. All of these stack, and I love it. All right, we're going to have hopefully a lot of land. Um, <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, let's scry. We'll put you on the bottom. We kind of just want as many lands as possible. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> sure, we'll keep you on top. <laughs> and this is why I love Mirror March, guys. Because it's just silly. Oh my goodness, we are hitting so many lands. Um, yeah, enters tapped. <laughs> sure. This is ridiculous. Uh, yeah, we'll keep that. <laughs> All right. Good. 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 <laughs> oh, I love it. We'll keep, I mean, it doesn't matter too much here. Um, take action. Yeah, why not? Take action. Yeah, why not? Holy crap, we are just hitting land after land. My goodness. I am so in for this. All right, Sky. Yes, that's what we want. More Mirror March. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. We can actually Risen Reef again. That's probably not correct, though, right? All right. We did the thing. <laughs> um, well, okay. So depending on how this goes, we could... So we could do this. Nope, nope, wrong. Let's just heal her. We're gonna be easy. We're not trying to. We're not trying to win this turn. Uh, frame rate's going down. Everything's fine. It's fine. This is silly. I love it. I love it. Sure. Give me all the cards. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, opponent's good gaming. Uh, I'm gonna say that's... <laughs> yeah. Uh, sorry for the frame rate drop here, guys. Is the opponent... What are we waiting on? I don't know what we're waiting on. It's not on me, I don't think. Did something freeze up? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Did it happen? It happened. The game froze. We broke the game. Whoops. Guys, we we, we broke it. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna I can't even concede out. What? <laughs> I can't even concede out. All right. Um, this shouldn't have broken the game, but apparently we did. Uh, so I guess this is going to be the end of the video just sitting here. I mean, we won, right? Like, I think it's pretty clear. All right. So here's the deal. This, this deck is fun. When it works, it's fun. Uh, you can see it worked this time. Uh, sorry for the frame rate issue. Hopefully that won't happen again. Um, but yeah, that was great. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Uh, and don't forget to pick up our lands if you're interested in picking those up. So, um, yeah, I'll see you in part two. Bye.